Now, picking up where we left off, we have some new files that we created. You can see that we have a new index file. But online, if we go back to our repository, we still don't have that file in here. So we've got to add it. To do this, we'll open back up our git bash into our project one folder. Now we can add git add index.php. And when we run this, it'll add it. Now, if you have a lot of updates and you don't want to have to deal with adding them individually, you can also use the command git add dash star and something like dot php and that'll add all php files in the folder you're in or you can do git add a folder name like projects one dash star and it'll get everything in that folder so that helps you a lot instead of having to add everything individually, but we have index, so we're good. Now that we've added everything, we're going to need to commit it. So we type git commit. And it's going to tell us that we have to enter in a comment so that it knows what changed. If you don't enter one, it'll actually discard the commit and you won't be able to proceed. Remember that editor we installed a long time back? That's what this is. And all you have to do is type your comment. So you can say added index. And then you hit control X and it'll ask if you want to save. Hit Y and then just hit enter. And we've now saved our commit. By adding a file and then committing it, you're saying, yes, I know that this is the file I've added, and I want to keep all my changes. Now, in order to push it back up, we're going to need a little bit of information. Specifically, we're going to need to know what branch we're in. This is the master branch. Everything that's initially created is called master. If you create copies of the file, they become different branches, and you can choose those and edit those individually and independently of master. But for now, all we have is master. So we're going to go back to our git bash and type git push origin master. And it tells us that it updated our information. So now if we go back and refresh, we can see that we now have our index.php file on our remote repository. And we can see if we go into it that it has our new lesson from Creative Online School in it. That covers how to take files from your repository, clone them to your computer, make edits and updates, and push them back up to the remote repository. This is very important when getting your version control because if you don't have these different commits and you don't have these different additions, if you accidentally overwrite something or if someone else accidents, accidentally overwrites something that you've written, you can lose it. If you click over here and look at branch, you can see that I have this update that I just made and I could potentially go back and change it to a version where this update hadn't been made. Well, that's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and you can watch this and other lessons at creativeonlineschool.com.